a real maltiness and then there's the honey Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have a whiskey here in my cast. It's called Stonaki. Stonaki, 10 years old, 43% um, ABV and I'm afraid chill filtered and colored. But it's not expensive. It's around 35 euros. And uh, this one is from uh, an independent bottler. Uh, the company is called AD Retray, and this is a famous old company. And uh, the founder, Tim Morrison, um, was a or is a son of the uh, former proprietor of Beaumore Distillery, Morrison Beaumore. So Tim Morrison is a descendant of this one, and uh, among his ancestors, there had been also an Andrew Dewars, uh, a spirits dealer uh, active in the 19th century and here it said it's uh, established in 1868 um, and this uh, Andrew Dewar Rattray company uh, distributed the exclusively the malls of the Stonerkey distillery um, well in the struggles uh, in the world crisis, uh, the Sonachi distillery was well uh, left open and finally dismantled. Um, but there was a bottle from the year 1904 left over, and Tim Morrison bought that bottle together with the rights on the name Sonachi. And uh, well, now he had <coughs> Sonachi, the original whiskey and uh, needs a whiskey to sell. So which one? He wanted to have a single malt whiskey, definitely a Highland single malt whiskey. And so he looked around and tasted several different um, malts and found that the malts from Ben Rinnes distillery uh, were very close to the Tonarchy distillery. Yeah, so uh, and Ben Rinnes was <laughs> willing to sell this whiskey because they do not have uh, their original bottlings. Well, there's an older one uh, available from uh, Ben Rinnes, 20 something, something about 21, 23 years old, I think. And uh, there's a flora, flora and fauna bottling from uh, uh, Ben Rinnes. Uh, so. Lost in time, not in spirit. The obliteration is total. Only the name remains. So ends the story of Tonachi Ristilli, which rose out of the wilderness in the 1890s. Set it in a desolate glen on the Perth Kinross border, it stood between bleak hills and an isolated road that toiled its way through the Och Hill Mountain. Sonarchy Distillery produced a traditional Highland style whiskey until 1928, and during its four decades of production, Ada Retray Limited represented the brand in Scotland. Ada Retray is proud to revive the Sonarchy name and reproduce the spirit of another time. To replicate the whiskey, a bottle of an original Sonarchy 1904 was purchased at auction, one of the only four bottles left in existence. A small sample of whiskey was drawn from this bottle and tasted, then samples of many Highland malt whiskies were compared to the original Sonarchy. Finally, the remote and high altitude distillery Ben Rinnes, uh, was chosen. This first class malt emulates the flavors and profile of the original Sonarchy whiskey. Sonarchy Gaelic for prominent nose Headland in the valley. Pronunciation strong a key. Strong a key. Tasting notes, yeah. Soft honey, earthy heather, and malty sweetness. Palate smooth with luscious honey and biscuit, then lingering pepper and cereal notes. Finish a perfectly balanced and seductive dram. So here we go. I <clears throat> I 
<coughs> there had been a leaflet uh, with a bottle and uh, here you can see there's also a Storaki 18 years old mm, and with a little luck I'm happy uh, to present this 18 years old here as well and here you can see uh, the old bottle bought at the auction. Yeah. Very good. <sighs> Soft. Ben Rinnes is one of the very few distilleries which own six stills in two sets of three. Uh, so they are doing triple distillation. I'm not quite sure if every cask of the Ben Rinnes distillery is triple distilled. Um, so there is a chance that this one is triple distilled. And there's a tale that most of the, all the triple distillation is uh, lowland style. And a lot of lowland distilleries use triple No, there are more distilleries in the highlands using triple distillation than in the lowlands. Actually, in the lowlands, I think there's only just one distillery with a triple distillation. So, smooth and a real maltiness and then there's the honey yeah and probably some some heather yeah probably um what's the difference between triple distillation and double distillation well with the double distillation out of the second pot still there you have uh a strength of starting at 70 ABV going down to 60 during the distillation process. So the average lies well above those 63.5 which is typically used for putting it in the casks. Uh, and the triple distillation they start over 80 and they fall down to 70 during the distillation process. And with this we have a cleaner spirit and less uh, sharp substances. Malty, sweet, honey, and some herbs. Yeah. Mm hmm. In the beginning, sweet with the honey, then the cereals, and then there's a peppery edge on it, quite sharp, uh, no alcoholic sharpness, peppery edge. And then in the aftertaste, there's some strong oakiness. So I think this bottle is second and third filled casks where, uh, well, the the pleasant, fresh, caramel, vanilla aromas are already torn out and now the tannins are coming in the aftertaste. So it's a wonderful dram in the nose and in the taste, but in the aftertaste it's a little, a little low. It's not too long, the aftertaste with this bitterness. No, not too long. So it's vanished already. So it's very, very pleasant in the smell and in the tasting. And there is a, a time in the aftertastes where it's not that pleasant. But on the long, long run, the aftertaste is pleasant again. So a small weakness in the first aftertaste. Yeah, but therefore it's not too expensive. And I'm happy that they have a, a matured whiskey on the market and not started with a no eight statement Sonachi whiskey because if I've looked right on this old bottle there hadn't been an eight statement on it because in former times typically uh, the whiskey did not carry an eight statement it was whiskey and uh, capital was low so they had to sell it fast yeah thank you for watching stay tuned there's more to come and feel free to share this video with your friends and as always give your comments in our whiskey database and let us discuss this whiskey in our forum on whiskey.com 